M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we've been playing around with DAPnet, as you know, and to open a DAPnet account, you go to the DAPnet site, then when you're there, click help, support, and click open ticket, and all you do is put in your email, name, call sign, and the first time you apply, you put new DAPnet account. Now you don't have to put with RIC, but tell them you want to have a number for your, for your ham radio hobby and your MMDVM hat. Um, I did ask for a new DAPnet account with RIC and then put in your, your weird number here and then click create ticket and they'll send you back your username and password so you can log into your DAPnet account, okay? Which is cool and you just log in in the usual way I'm logged in now. And you get all these maps and these are all the users here. Now, the, the next thing you do once you've got that first number is you then follow on and go to same again, but this time new DAPnet transmitter, and there's a few more details you add to do with how you're transmitting. And if you're transmitting using a hotspot, then just put those details in. Don't let it put you off. Okay. Once you've done that, now where I'm actually using the O Star system here, just just because um, M6LSJ, my friend, told me it, that the O Star system does work. Although you can do exactly the same on Pi Star and open spot as well so just look here m6lsj has sent me a message here these these messages now remember your hotspot will actually transmit to a pager the pager you've got is an alpha pop 602r is the kind of pager you want so there you go i've got one in the uk but apparently if you get them from you know abroad they're cheaper but you do, this is the one you want because you want it to have the right frequency. I mean, you can program these. The cables are quite expensive. If you get one with a cable, that would be a lot better. And what will happen is when your O-Star system or Pi-Star open spot is transmitting, these are, this is what you're getting. Yeah? These are the messages. Now, the gobbledygook messages, I'm guessing, are to do with weather and location and all that because you can actually put settings into your MMDVM hat, you know, your Linux Pi-Star system, Raspberry Pi, to decode whatever we're looking at as far as I know I'm really new to this but I want you to show you what the settings in on an O star hotspot and they will be similar if you've got a Pi star open spot 3 so what you do with your authorization key that they've sent you remember that that DAPnet will send you an authorization key go to on your O star go to settings a couple of things you've got to do here Let this apply. Sorry, it's just a bad internet. You'll see this window. Now we've enabled DMR anyway, so this is what you would enable. You can see my Alens HD1 in the background. So just call sign, DMR number, simplex hotspot, my one is, frequency. You're gonna have that in anyway for your DMR. So you can use DMR simultaneously with your POCSAC pager. Now go to POCSAC. You want to, the frequency is in there by default anyway, because that's the one that it will transmit to your pager that I just showed you. Call sign. Now I just selected the top one. Look, DAPNET AFU ending in DE. And this number here is my authorization key. It's what allows my hot, basically makes it work. Let's be simple. Then you go, just, you need to just do this last bit. Go to radio here at the top. Advanced. Okay, and then go across to the right here and go to DAPnet. And the same goes for your PyStar open spot. Leave your whitelist and blacklist blank, otherwise you won't get all the messages. See that whitelist, blacklist. I think if you put blacklist, it blocks people. I think if you put whitelist, then it filters who you're going to be receiving messages from. So I want to receive messages from everyone, so I've left it blank. Uh, otherwise, uh, scroll down and look, DAPnet here at the bottom. Just make sure that your authorization key is in there. If you go at the top, make sure your call sign's in there. I haven't changed anything else. These are all default. Once you've done that, remember that to have ticked, you want to make sure you've ticked uh, your ability to have, um, oh, sorry, POCSAC working. So go back to the dashboard, which is, you'll see it all populates in a minute. See that down here, these are all the messages that I'm getting on my, that I would be getting on my pager. Remember, there is an app. If you do use DAPnet, you can download an app from the Play Store. Look, here it is at the front. And you can do this all by phone. Once you've got your number from DAPnet, and thanks very much, because it is a free service, you can start paging straight away. You don't need any hardware. 
But, you know, this is more fun if you've got the ham radio hobby, isn't it? But anyway, um, so back to the O-Star. And uh, just remember when you go, look at the top here, you've got your DMR numbers changing as people are talking. Now, if you had a CSV file, these would all be call signs, and that's pretty good. And so you've got this little flag at the top that shows that. But anyway, settings. We'll go back to Poxag and make sure you have ticked the box. Enable Poxag mode. You definitely need that. Save and apply. You can see what I put in. So that's it, really. So check it out. Have some fun. It's free. We're sat here playing radio. Uh, remember, you don't have to have this hotspot. O-Star, you've got, you can use the MMDVM Pi-Star system. You can use the OpenSpot 3. They are all, they are all and have been for years. Uh, Poxac enabled, pager message enabled. So thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on air, 7-3, all the best.